I shouldn't be saying these things. That's why you're here, isn't it? To talk about what happened? Is this a confession? Only if there's something you regret. Everyone knows my story. God isn't interested in stories. He's interested in truth. I came here looking for sympathy, Father. Of course. Father, are you listening? I'm listening, yes, I think so. God is cruel. Well, now you're getting into trouble. God is love, and God is everywhere. Was you in the bullet that killed Jack? Absolutely. Is he inside of me right now? Yes, of course he is. But what a funny game he plays, hiding all the time. The fact that we don't understand him isn't funny at all. If there is a heaven, there goes your God with all his empty promises. What kind of God takes a father away from his two children? The Lord sacrificed his only son. What about my two babies? Arabella in the womb? And Patrick only 39 hours on this earth. Long enough to fall in love with him. What did I do to deserve that? Nothing. Jack and I hardly spend time together. Not even the last night he was in Fort Worth. Your husband loved you, Mrs. Kennedy. I'm sure of that. I seem to remember there being more to our vows. Don't look at me like that. I was the first lady of the United States. And women have been doing far more for far less. There's two types of women. Those that want power in the world and those that want power in bed. And of course, what am I left with? What do you think men feel when they look at me? Sadness, compassion, desire maybe. You're still a young woman, Mrs. Kennedy. I used to make them smile. No one understands the pain he was in or how loyal he was. And his friends could be so crude. Not Jack though. He could get caught up in it though. Still, he was a great father. I could still picture him in that rocking chair in the office with Caroline and John. How could I hate him? Take comfort in those memories. I can't. They're all mixed up with the others.